Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are back once again with another speed build. Um, today's speed build is actually related to my Disney Princess Challenge. Um, we have finally finished up our first gen Snow White and we are moving on to Cinderella. So I wanted to make Cinderella's like chateau that she like grows up in. in. Um, so that's what we're doing here. This build was definitely a struggle for me. I think it's always a little difficult when you're like remaking something that's like from a movie or show because I've done it before like I've done like the charmed house from um the charmed house from charmed and I've done like the Serena's the teenage witch house and everything and it's always really hard because obviously like they have sets and everything and so like the house that they like are showing as the outside is not going to necessarily match up with like the actual structure or anything like that so like that makes it really difficult but honestly i feel like the biggest difficulty that i had was working with that stupid circle room tower situation because i have avoided um working with um any sort of circular room or anything because like People that I know of that are like really good at building have said that it's really hard and it's a struggle. And so I'm like, I'm not like an amazing builder. So if they're struggling, I will definitely struggle. So I've kind of avoided it up until this point. But obviously, you know, Cinderella's Chateau has a little tower because that's where she is stuck up in um, and has to live her life in. So it was really hard. I did not want the tower to be like that big. Um, but I couldn't get it to be like a full circle without it being that big because like the only other like circle that I could make was like extremely small and like couldn't fit anything in there so I had to make it that big so it just like it caused a lot of problems. I cut out a lot of like the build portion of this because I had to like do a lot of readjusting but it's still like a huge part of this video is just the building and figuring out how to get the build correctly. Um, if I remember to, I will like include like a little picture of kind of like the chateau that I was like looking at and how I, I was kind of basing this build on. But it was really difficult and I had to like take out a lot of the process because it was a real big trial and error kind of situation there and it's just like every time I would like get to a certain point where I was like okay we're making progress I would realize okay like wait it's a little bit different than what I thought it was originally and everything so like it took me like a good long minute to do but I think in the end like I was able to get the shape pretty well done but like obviously the big concern is because I had to make the tower so big I ended up having to make the chateau and like the house itself a lot bigger than what I would want to so it could fit the tower because I really struggled with like the tower like whenever I would try to connect walls to it it just wasn't making the rooms into actual rooms so it would just be like open spaces and not complete rooms so it was just really really difficult with that but obviously as you can see I now have like a kind of functioning build situation going on here and um I kind of finally get to do like kind of the more exciting things like the actual decorating part. Um, I wasn't really sure what to do for the uh, exterior like paint kind of vibe because it was like a very certain, a very certain, a very particular color and it had like certain things and certain elements that I couldn't find like an exact match to but I think it ended up being pretty good with like the vibes. It still kind of matches it. Um, and then obviously I hate that like the little like domers, I think that's what they're called in the game that like you don't have to make yourself. They like, it's so hard to find matching colors, but I just use those um, get together ones because I felt like they looked the best and it kind of fits because it is Windenburg. And then <laughs> I can't tell you how long I spent throughout this build trying to add in all of the little like pointy things that were on the chateau because like pretty much every little piece of the roof in the picture had like little decoration thingies on it and it was just like so difficult to get the placement on it so I'm like I don't know how people who either don't know about 
BB.move object cheat or can't use it like on console, I have no idea how they're able to place those things on top of roofs because it's not easy and it does not like go on to like the top of the roof where like you expect those kinds of things to go on. I I can't tell you how long <laughs> that took me. Um, I had to cut a lot of that out. And then they also had like this like, I guess it was a chimney kind of situation, but it was like circular and it had like things sticking out of it. So I kind of just used um, this like that circular brick chimney kind of thing and that stuff. Um, and I think it actually like looks kind of like how it's supposed to look. And then I also really struggled with the windows, but I cut a lot of that out <laughs> because I didn't realize it at the time, but <laughs> my wall height at the bottom was like, I think like the highest wall height. And then um, the rest of my wall heights were like the normal smaller wall height. And so I didn't realize that at the beginning. And so it was just really hard for me to find like windows that like looked well and like looked even <laughs> with the rest of the build or like the lower floor. And then I realized later that, oh, that was the reason why I was struggling so much. Um, and then for the door, the door was kind of like a reddish, like woody kind of tone. So I kind of decided to go with the realm of magic um, wood structure. And then I also realized after the fact that all of the windows weren't actually black, they were actually white. So I went back and changed all of that because obviously consistency. And I do realize eventually that I use, ended up using the frosted windows. <laughs> instead of the regular windows from Snowy Escape. So I do change those eventually. I think I, I actually cut that out, but you know, I didn't realize that at the time. And then honestly, I kind of got a little carried away with the whole vineage situation that is on the house. Cause it's not on all of the house. It's just on like the, like that, like front part that I'm working on right now. And then like the front door area and the rest doesn't have any of it. And so I ended up eventually realizing like, whoa, calm down. I put a little too much like I kind of like it with how much I put on there but then I was like wait a minute it doesn't have that much on there so I need I need to take a step back and so I deleted most of all of that stuff off of it even though I was really tempted to leave it on because I just really liked how it looked personally but that's not how the chateau really is supposed to look so I went and changed it and just kept it on like the front two bits um I think I did leave some of the um, vines that were on the side of the house just because I liked it and in the pictures they had like this random like archway by like the front and I'm assuming that's maybe like an entrance that like Cinderella would use to get in and out of the house because I like I feel like that was probably like where the kitchen area was or whatever and so I did include it but like I do eventually take that out because I just didn't like how it looks it just made the front of the house look weird to me personally so I did take that out but I just did a little bit of shrubbery Honestly, in the pictures that I were, I were, I was able to find of the chateau, it kind of didn't have that much like shrubbery or anything in there. It had like mainly like just dead looking trees and then like maybe a few bushes here and there. Um, so instead of going based off of that, I decided that it would just look better if I kind of based it off the environment. So just like the little island of um, Windenburg, I just kind of just saw that they were using like those particular bushes and those particular trees and I kind of just did that so it like fits in and blends in well with the rest of the environment and I decided to do the landscaping this early on even though I obviously was not finished the build completely just because I knew that I wanted to raise the foundation up and I always struggle with putting like shrubs and stuff around the house when there's a foundation so I always find myself having to lower the foundation back on and then having to re-add all of the stairs and like re-add all of the stuff that I had already put in initially. So I just did that first because they actually have like really, really steep stairs. Like the stairs are very like significant to the house. Uh, honestly, I think I probably like, it was realistic for how high I had it up originally, but I just didn't like the look of it. So I lowered it a little bit so it looked better, but the stairs were pretty big looking in the game. And like one aspect of like, the stairs and just throughout the game is just the house in itself like especially on the inside due to the like due to the like the inside pictures and everything they had a lot of curvature to them but like unfortunately like we can't do like actual like soft circular curves and stuff to the stairs and everything and I obviously like 
saw this and I just did not like it how it looked because in the picture that is actually like flush to the ground but obviously in the game once you put one part of the house on a foundation the whole thing is going to be on a foundation <laughs> so it didn't work out so I just took that away um, and just didn't include that and then I finally start working on the interior of the house um, and my biggest thing was I wanted to get the stairs because I think the stairs are like the big part of the chateau like I feel like when you think of Cinderella and like her house a lot you think of the chateau which again is like a circ well it's not circular but it has like a nice little curve to it but obviously you can't do that in the game and so I tried to do like a full like curved or like not curved but like a staircase that kind of had like a little bit of a u-shape but it just wasn't looking right so I just did like a more l-shaped stairs because that just made more sense um, and it was hard for me to find something that like had the opulence that the house has, but also still like kind of looking similar to what was actually in the movie and everything. But I think, you know, it was okay for the doors. I noticed that they, all of the doors kind of had like a gold, honestly, throughout the house, there was a lot of gold accents to it so i ended up going over with these doors i think these doors are definitely more so meant for being front doors but they were the doors in the pictures and of that little hallway they were huge they were like floor to ceiling and then they had like little gold accents to them so i felt like these doors fit really well i didn't love the shape of these rooms but just because the shape of the house i kind of had to end up doing the rooms like this um so i just kind of went with it and i was really confused on how to kind of go about like the stairwell situation um like or at least the area next to the stairwell because in the pictures it shows that area as windows like you could see outside of those um but obviously with the way the build is is that is just another part of the house so um obviously i couldn't make it completely similar to it so that was a little frustrating but going on and moving on to the bedrooms this is supposed to be lady tremaine's i think is how you say her name um this is her room so it's the stepmother's room and she her room had a lot of purple like all of the furniture was purple but like the walls kind of looked like a greenish color and then she also had like this really big like green like rug or like i don't know like something on her floor so that's what i kind of went with with that and then it said that the sisters their favorite colors one of them was pink and the other one was um green and like there's only one picture that i could find of the sisters rooms and like they were both in the bed together so i don't know if it was just like one of them happened to like run into the other one's bed because the mom was kind of like it looked like the mom was like yelling at them like as she does best um so i kind of just went based off of like their favorite colors so i just made one room like kind of pink vibes and the other room green vibes and then the walls had like for the hallway at least had like this like bluish color but like it was like again had like the gold accents the colors and the, throughout the house um let's just say not my style not my taste because <laughs> i mean for one a lot of it like i said had a lot of gold accents to it but then like a lot of the colors just didn't make any sense together like blue walls and purple carpets <laughs> um so that didn't really make much sense to me and then in this room that i'm making right now um they basically said that there was a wardrobe room which like makes sense because i think that's like when they were like trying on their dresses for the ball and everything but I do fix that later because I realized later on that I didn't actually have a bathroom for all of the sisters and the mom. Um, so I needed to, you know, fix that. So I changed that around a little bit. And then for like the whole window situation that I was kind of talking about earlier, how like it's supposed to be like right next to the stairwell. I just put the windows, obviously I had windows up front there. And so I kind of just made that like that. And then <laughs> um, for like throughout the house, like all throughout the house, they had like this little like mirror candle combo. So I, the mirrors in the movie, they were all like circular, but like the only circular mirrors that like kind of fit the vibe were too big so I just went with like like s just like slightly curved mirrors but like that I ended up having to replicate like throughout the house because I realized as I was going that it was like everywhere and then as I go back downstairs like right next to the 
staircase on the left side is just like an open kind of area with just like columns and everything so and there's really nothing going on in that room so i like really like waited until the last minute to kind of do that room and then i figured that the kitchen would be there um are connected to that room so i kind of did the kitchen and in the kitchen and the pictures it basically only really shows that like it's kind of like a rundown kind of vibe kind of situation it looks like there's like just like a brick oven kind of situation there so i was thinking about like getting some cc and like finding some sort of like brick stove situation but i figured just to make my life easier i will just use what we have in the game and like just use old stuff so that's what i decided to do um for that and then they also show that like, like there's like a chair it's kind of like a broken down chair so i assume that obviously cinderella probably passed to eat all of her meals and everything just in the kitchen by herself um and obviously i do not think the stepmother or the stepsisters ever really set foot in the kitchen so i figured that like it would be fine to just make it really run down and then i never realized this despite the fact that like i was a really big fan of cinderella um, when I was a younger, I never realized, but she has a dog. So I added the dog bed to the kitchen because in the pictures it showed the dog like sleeping in the kitchen. So I added the dog bed and it also says that she has a horse. So, you know, apparently we're going to have to take care of a dog and a horse. And there's also going to be a cat in the house. <laughs> so it's going to be a full house for sure. But I decided to put the dining room in the back. So I just felt like that was like a nice, like long area to have like a nice big dining area. And then for the other rooms, um... They, from my research, they specifically said that they had a music room. And I do remember in the movie, and I did find pictures, at least one picture of it, where the mom was like sitting down playing the piano and she was getting one of the daughters, I think Drusella, to do the singing. And then Anastasia, she was trying to play the flute or something. Obviously, we don't have a flute in the game, but I did include like the microphone and the piano and everything. And I just put like as many instruments that I feel like would fit in the time period um, in there. So I just added the violin as well as the piano to it. And so in this other room, I kind of just use it as like a drawing room or like, you know, like a living room kind of vibe. But I figured, you know, obviously with it being such a big house, it probably should have some books, but like I didn't have enough space, obviously, to like have a full library. So I did add like a little bookshelf area over in the front part of the room. Like throughout the build, I was like a little bit frustrated just because the way the shape of the build was that like I couldn't really like have like normal shaped rooms. So that was a little annoying. And another annoying thing, I cut all of this out, but I struggled so much with this tower because I did not realize initially that you cannot put stairs for one in these little tower things and then also you can only put the stupid ladders in like pretty much the very middle of the builds like you can't put them towards the edge it just doesn't work and so that was a struggle i didn't want her to have a ladder situation but that was the only kind of thing that i could do with the circular rooms um and so this is cinderella's kind of little area she didn't have much to her room really she had like a little like chest situation and then like this little mirror desk situation and then her bed basically um so that's kind of like how i kept it pretty simple i did add a little bit more to it just because like it just looked super bare and i gave her her own separate bathroom area because i figured that would be a long way <laughs> to go all the way to the other side of the house and everything to have to like use the bathroom and everything she did have like a little like table next to her um but bed so I did like put that there um, and did that. And then she had like wood flooring and everything. So I included included that. I just pretty much for the most part, like made her space like look a little bit run down. I, let, I figured like she may, would maybe have like a few like keepsakes that she could have to keep like to herself that like maybe were like a little bit nicer, but for the most part, kept it pretty like run down and everything and then for the rest of the house or like this big area i noticed that like in one of the corners that there was like that little like red chair like in, in the little corner of the staircase um and so i put that there and then i like i said i realized that there was just so much gold accents so i kind of added more like things that i felt like kind of would go with that like opulent vibe and so i made the ceilings have like that like gold tile because i noticed that a lot of the ceilings did have like this like really detailed gold or the a really gold oh, i can't get my words out 
it had a very um intense gold detailing throughout it so that's what i went for and i noticed that there was like some random yellow chairs and sofas and one of the pictures so i kind of just added that because i needed something to put in the space i felt like especially for like the main area like the entrance and then that like little room off to the side like there was just like nothing for me to put in those areas so i added the little floor detailing and everything to like kind of take up the space a little bit but it was really annoying to me because i just couldn't figure out what to kind of put in those spaces um so that's one way i kind of made it so it didn't look completely empty but i just wasn't sure of what to put it in it but i did eventually go back up to the sisters and the stepmom's room and i pretty much just added whatever like color scheme that they had so like pretty much just like anything green kind of went into their rooms anything purple anything pink um and that's kind of just how i went about it i just filtered it out and obviously she like i said does have a cat lucifer so i added all the cat stuff to her room just because for one she had the space and then for two obviously i wanted to try and keep like some sort of separation and lucifer actually does have like a very nice little cat bed um in the pictures and everything so you know he's a little bit of a spoiled cat there but uh, i just kind of stopped carrying on like what i thought would look good and kind of just went more for what the color vibe and just like what looked fancy basically to put into the places so i used that to my advantage with this bathroom in particular and i used a bunch of like the horrifying gaudy um get to get not get to work get famous stuff and i just used all of the little gold <laughs> detailing and like furniture in there um so i was like that's like probably like the first time that i ever used any of that stuff because it just is it's a lot so i never build like that so i figured that was a great opportunity and then i did a lot of like just decorating throughout the house just adding things here and there to just make it look like a little bit more rustic and just you know a little bit more like the pictures as much as i could and just filling up the space um i was originally just going to put like a cow thing in there but then i remembered like oh wait she's supposed to have a horse so instead i actually just do like a little stable situation out there I, found, I didn't realize that we had that well in the game, and so I like decided to add that because you know, I feel like that makes sense. Obviously, they're not going to have running water, necessarily. I'm not going to do that to myself. We are going to have running water in the game, but like you know, let's play pretend that they don't. Um, and I just added the little stuff for the horse. I've never actually played with horses yet. I am doing the Lucid Legacy challenge, but I have not. And like they're supposed to have farms, but like I have not actually gotten a horse yet. We're still trying to earn more money. And despite the fact that this was my constant complaint during Snow White's gen of having to do laundry by hand, I decided to torment myself again. And I decided to add hand wash laundry again um and then this was also like another huge struggle for me is they had this like very big long curved driveway situation and um i struggle with terrain paint in general and so it was just a little bit of a struggle for me i ended up putting a fountain there just to like take up some of the space um but I think also my lot or like the house is not, I don't think centered on the lot. So it just looks slightly odd to me. So I think like it looks a little bit weird, but I think for not being someone very experienced with it, it looks fine. And I figured the big thing about Cinderella's story is the mice and her little helper mice. So I added the little hamster cage thing so I could like add a mouse to that or whatever animal because i don't know if it actually has a mouse i think it has rats hamsters and then like some other creature but like you know we'll have a pretend mouse friend um there and throughout the house they just had these like little like caged flowers and so i used the werewolf like little caged flower there it's supposed to be a red flower but you know you gotta work with what you got um but i'm just kind of like i said just adding some less element details just to like kind of 
fill in empty spaces in the house um just adding some pictures and everything added like music pictures to the music room in the mom's room i actually put like a portrait of a woman in her room and i figured you know it would probably be like she has a portrait of herself and she's just so into herself that she had to do that but nonetheless i am coming to an end with this build um i hope you guys enjoyed this video um and i will see you guys soon with the next one bye guys